Hello, this is Don Moret, and welcome back. Um, so today is Sunday, the day of the new moon. Today is the 30th of October. The veil is very thin. Um, and I, okay, so, oh my god. So the reason why, the reason why McDonald's and Starbucks and all these places are really successful is because <laughs> they don't go... Uh, to do a raw food cleanse with friends and then get way, way, way too stoned in order to have a consistent product. <laughs> I'm going to try this. Okay. All right. Wake up. Uh, hi. Okay. We're going to get into this because I, I think it's important. I'm so sorry. I'm so fucking stoned right now. But I'm going to do this anyway. Regardless. Because I have a topic. Okay. Let's get into it. Alright, so this is going to be the top five things that females do in order to have sexual attention that are really fucking dumb, okay? So this is stuff that, that is not necessary, and in fact, it's counterintuitive. Counterintuitive. Not good. Bad. Okay. Alright, so number one. Number one is fake nails. Okay, so the, the legend of, you know, so back in the day in the, in the Orient, right, you would grow out the nails in your left hand in order to show that you were like in the spirit realm, that like you had control of the spirit realm, okay? And it's like this thing, you know, women think that they need to get fake nails. Fake nails are scary. And fake nails show man, really what they show man, is that you're not gonna be able to do anything, okay? You're not gonna be, first of all, it's very difficult to pleasure yourself with fake nails. So basically, what you're showing everyone is that you're gonna be a super high maintenance and like, Expecting everyone else to do everything for you type person. This is not good. This is totally counterintuitive Just have you know short nails your own nails. You can grow them out You know if you have, if you're healthy enough to grow them out yourself, that's great, but None of this fake plastic crap on your tips of your fingers. That is the that is like I don't think that guys that like that We don't even want to mess with guys that like that. Okay, that's like it's just a, it's a brainwash thing Who wants to get plastic on the tip of their fingers? Come on now. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. All right, number two. Oh my God. Oh come on, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. All right. Number two, wearing super, super, super uncomfortable shoes out. Yeah. Okay. It's one thing to have like some really hot high heels at your house and to dress up and walk around in them like with wardrobe or something. That's great. But when, 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 when we see a woman wearing uncomfortable shoes, and this is like some sort of platform shoes, right? On average, okay, if she's walking on like dirt, if she's walking on cobblestone, if she's walking on anything besides like completely paved, perfect roads, right? She's falling all over herself. And her actual body posture is, is like honked over. It looks like shit. It looks horrible. And, and basically, again, what you're saying is like, I'm going to need a lot of help to move around. Like, everything that I do is based on me trying to look good, but you're failing, okay? You're better off, like, wearing some sneakers and being happy. I swear to God, 100%, just try it out. Sneakers and happiness, way better than uncomfortable shoes. Okay, <laughs> keep it moving here. Number three. Okay, this is, so, we got, and I kind of put this all together. Right? I put it, wearing completely all black because you think you're a fat ass. Uh, wearing hiding clothes, clothes that hide, hide your curves, or wearing clothes that are too tight. Okay, so here's the thing. No matter what your body looks like, you've got a beautiful body, and somebody out there is going to love it. Okay, somebody is, I don't care how fat you are, there's going to be some skinny guy that fucking loves it. And I don't care how thin you are, there's going to be some fat guy that loves it. There's going to be somebody who matches up to you if you just, like, dress yourself in a, in a loving way and then go out. Somebody's going to love you. So... Anyway, uh, wearing all black, basically, like, it can be fun once in a while, right? You know, I, I like this black hair, right? And black, basically, the color black is saying, like, no. It's a no. It's a, it's, I'm not trying to absorb more energy. I've got my own energy, and I'm not going to, you know, it, wearing black is sort of a, it's like a no. Okay, well, when you're going out, you don't always want to be, like, a full no. No, 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 no. Right? It's nice to have some color in there. And it, like, there's nobody who's too fat to wear colors. Okay? Like, the whole black makes you look thin thing. 
No, it doesn't. People can still see how fat you are. Black does not make you look thin. If you want to look thin, we'll have other videos about how to get less fat. But, like, that's not doing anything except basically saying that you're, like, closed off. And, like, yeah, if you're dating a guy that wears a lot of white, it's great to go his counter and wear a lot of black. And that's, like, a, a fun, you know, opposite attract thing. But, like, wearing black because you think you have to because you're fat is really lame. Like, put on blue, put on green, put on the colors you love. You know, wear white, wear whatever. Wear clothes that show off your beautiful curves. Why not? Somebody's going to love them. And first of all, that should be, hopefully, you. You gotta love me first, and the other people will naturally love them. All right, keep it moving. Number four, and this is one of my favorite personal ones, okay? Favorite as in favorite that I hate, okay? And this is perfume. Oh, perfume. Well, I just happen to have an extra $80 in my pocket. Why don't I get some perfume so I can get laid? Okay, folks, it does not work that way. Perfume is the fastest way to not get laid by someone of quality that's ever existed. Literally, this is an industry that purely exists to vampirize you and your need for attention. You need to smell good, okay? You're better off, this shit is toxic. It actually shortens your life because uh, synthetic perfumes actually create a stress. So they create stress, stress chemicals in the body. They create headaches. They create bad posture, constricted posture. And you actually end up shortening your life by wearing this fucking crap. You don't need it. Like, you can put on a little vanilla. Guys love when you smell like their grandmother baking cookies. Or you can uh, self-pleasure and put some of that on you. I mean, that, that works too. Right? Your natural scents, essential oils, that's all going to work much better for attracting guys than any sort of perfume you would ever pay anything for buy at the store. Look, Charlize Theron may fucking be in a Dior commercial. Doesn't mean she wears the shit. It means that she gets paid a lot of money to dance around on the beach and say that she wears it. Lady Gaga doesn't wear that black fucking oil shit. Nobody, they're not actually wearing this shit. They're selling it to you. And hopefully you're not going to buy it because it's fucking stupid. Okay, that's one of my personal ones because that shit gives me migraines. I hate it. I, I, I literally, if I could just take away an industry right now, it would be the cosmetic, not the cosmetic, the perfume, the synthetic perfume and cologne industry. It would be gone. I'd blow all that shit up in a second. If I could just, with my mind, just, yeah, it would be gone. Be gone. Essential oils, your own sweat, your own body fluids, that's all going to be much higher attractive le attraction level to someone of quality than any sort of noxious synthetic perfume. Please back me up here. Um, okay. <laughs> anyway, so number one, I mean number five, this is the top one. Okay. And this is going to be powder cosmetics. All right, ladies. So I know that there's literally, if I had a dollar for every woman on fa on uh, on YouTube, especially fat women, or every gay man, and especially fat gay men, a bunch of people that are basically not getting fucked, okay? If I had a dollar for every one of them that's doing makeup tutorials on how to put on a huge fake face, right? I would be very, very, very wealthy. Okay. But here's the thing. What's really, really attractive, and I'm not wearing any makeup right now. So I'm kind of like pale and not, not shiny. I'm not a great example of what I'm saying here, but the, the, the key attractor in nature to skin is health. Health, uh, shininess, transparency, right? So you're far better off like running around the block, maybe putting on a tinted moisturizer, uh, maybe some of those highlighters, or, or if you could pinch your cheeks, right, make them pink, that works too, right, some gloss, you know, you can do your eyes up, you can do your lips up, but just no powder blushes and no white powders, all that, I got a powder in my face, it's too shiny, you don't understand, nature wants you to be shiny, when you're shiny, you look like you just exercise, like you're vital, like you're healthy, or like you just, <laughs> oh my god, me, hey, dog. hey. Get out of here! Come on, be cool! Oh my god! I was so done! I was at number five and I got attacked by a small dog! Why does this... Why does this shit always happen to me? Why am I such a horrible victim in life? Oh my god! You gotta be kidding me! Okay, anyway, so I was trying to discuss number five. Um, 
okay, so yeah, in nature, in nature, those who have get. Okay, so the the more color, see that brought some color to my face. Being attacked by a wild, a wild, not it wasn't a wild dog actually. It was definitely on the leash and it was small and very miniature, but but um, it was barking wildly. Anyway, um, so so them who have get. Okay, you want to be successful, right? Nothing succeeds like success. So when you have a shiny and 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 well lit, well, when you have a glow, when you're glowing, right? Because sex makes you glow. So if you're already glowing, uh, you look like you're already you're you're already on that level. Okay. So this is this is really really important, right? Because looks do in fact mean mean a lot. They mean a lot. Okay. But it's not the way you think. It's not it's not looks do mean a lot to guys. But not in the way that we like. Not in all these industrial ways. We don't need all these, all these products, and they just really are taking advantage of, you know, they take advantage of young females. They do. Um, I'm still like breathing heavy. I'm so scared about this little dog attack. Okay, I need to calm down. All right, I was talking about. Okay, so yeah, no powders. No powders. We're not trying to look like a white vampire who hasn't left your house and is totally unhealthy and anemic. We're trying to look vital. Vital and healthy. Like we just ran around the block. Like we're in the sun. Like we're happy people. And that's always what succeeds. Happiness is really what shows through. It always shines through. That's the number one, uh, you know, beauty remedy is, is just 100% pure distilled happiness. <gasps> okay. I'm going to keep it short because seriously... There's more dogs coming for me right now. Like, the whole neighborhood's watching their dogs, and they're all really mad that I'm here. I don't know why. Maybe because they can tell I'm a cat person from a distance. I have no idea. But I'm going to let you guys go now. So, peace and love. And please like and subscribe. Put your comments uh, below for guys and girls. Ask me questions. I'll give you my best answers. Maybe you'll like them. Maybe you won't. This is obviously an experimental entertainment channel in addition to education. I'm just having fun um, in my life, you know, just out having fun. But um, but seriously, I, I really would love to answer your comments and I'd love to respond to them. So, But I will, I'm committed to bringing new content and being consistent like your Starbucks or your McDonald's or any successful outlet. Um, so like and subscribe. All right, guys. Well, wish me luck with these little dogs. Uh, hopefully I won't have to bring any of their little necks. Um, just kidding. 